coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10's Aaron Peters. Good evening. We had a pleasant day weather-wise with sunny and mild conditions. And it looks like they'll be staying in the forecast. Tonight's going to be very similar to last night. It's going to be a little bit cooler, but last night was a mostly clear and calm night. You take a look at the storm tracker. Some of us saw maybe just a few showers, and we see that trend continue tonight as well. You see on the storm tracker, maybe just some little chances of precipitation here and there. For the most part, not a lot of us are going to be seeing this, but something to keep in mind as you get throughout tonight, but it won't be lasting for long. So you go to the future cast, this is midnight tonight, even though slight chance of precipitation will be moving out of the forecast. As you get later on tonight into early tomorrow morning, we're going to see the wind shift, and that's going to bring a little bit cooler air as you get to tomorrow. Today's high was around 78 degrees. We're going to see highs around 73 are pushing the mid 70s for tomorrow. This is at 6 a.m. Seeing those clear, sunny conditions once again moving into the Wabash Valley. By the time we get to 1 p.m., though, it looks like future cast is going to bring some clouds moving in as well as a chance of precipitation. This precip Presentation looks like it will be unlikely, but something to keep in mind as you get throughout tomorrow. It's going to be similar to today for the most part, though it's going to be staying mostly clear and mostly dry as well. Then you get into tomorrow evening. Could see a stray cloud here and there, but besides that, another pleasant day. And that will continue into Thursday as well. This is Thursday at 6 a.m. As we talked about, there's clear sunny conditions staying in the forecast, luckily, especially compared to that rocky weather we had over the weekend. Just a pleasant week so far. And it's going to continue that way for the entirety of the work week. Could change by the time we get to the weekend. So look at the weekend forecast Friday. Going to be another great day, 79 for the high, so a little bit warmer than it was today and mostly sunny conditions still as get to Friday night that brings a slight chance of precipitation and that precipitation stays in the forecast for a weekend 50% chance on Saturday in the form of showers and storms and of course we'll keep an eye on that for you doesn't look like we're gonna have all day washouts for our weekend high around 70 on Saturday a little bit warmer on Sunday with a high around 81 still with a 30% chance of showers and of course we'll monitor that as you get closer to your weekend your forecast for tonight for the most part we're gonna see temperatures drop into the low 50s. It's going to be a mostly clear night as we talked about. Sunrise is going to be around 629 tomorrow morning. This could be a cool start to the morning because your overnight low is going to drop to around 53 degrees under a mostly clear sky and a cool breeze. It's getting to tomorrow a little bit cooler than it was today, but still mostly sunny and pleasant high around 73 degrees. It's getting to tomorrow night. It could feel a little bit chilly with overnight lows dropping in the 40s. 49 for the overnight low with a chilly breeze in the northeast from 3 to 6 miles per hour. It's going to be a mostly clear night similar to what tonight was and last night was as well. Take a look at Sunday forecast. This pleasant stretch of weather we've had to start off our work week will continue. With temperatures staying in the 70s over these next couple days. A little bit cooler tomorrow, but still staying mostly sunny with a high around 73 degrees. Temperatures get back in the mid and upper 70s on Thursday and Friday, but unfortunately precipitation will move into the forecast by the time we get to our weekend.